Hi my lovelies, welcome back, it's Nisha. So today I am going to do a video all about lips. I have been splurging on high-end lipsticks. Um, like I said before many times, um, I am a sucker for nice packaging um, and in some instances the high-end is better than drugstore but not always as I will tell you later. So how I did this video, I videoed myself with every lipstick on so I can, once I've showed you um, the swatches on my hand, I can show you what it looks like on the lips and maybe I'll be able to stick a picture as well. I don't know. See how my editing is going. Anyway, um, I have ordered a few more lip liners so i have bought a few nyx um, lip liners um, and let me show you first two pink ones and this one is 816 fuchsia and it is true true fuchsia sorry about all the light but it's so sunny today i'm not complaining um, it's just very hard to, so it is beautiful pink fuchsia. I don't see myself using it so much because I don't really wear bright fuchsia lipsticks. And then um, 836 Bloom, another pink, and to be honest, it's almost identical. So the bottom one is fuchsia, the top one is bloom. So to be honest, you can get one or the other because they are very similar. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use these. I'll probably give them away. Anyway, the two that I really like that will go with more of the things that I wear was number 810 Neutral. And that's this one. And 860 Peekaboo Neutral. And that one is really nice. So that, that's the Peekaboo Neutral and that's just neutral. So these two I can see using a lot. Uh, like the Peekaboo I probably use with more corally ones and then the neutral with, um, you know, the pale neutrals, like pale pinks. Uh, so these were my lip liners. Now for the lipsticks, I have really treated myself. So the first one I got was Tom Ford and he has the, the, the packaging is just beautiful. It's quite heavy. Um, this is probably the heaviest lipstick I've ever held. Uh, so it's quite heavy. Um, black, is it black? I think it's black with um, gold trim. Um, and of course, inside the bullet is beautiful. Oh, the lighting is driving me mental. Um, with TF. Tom Ford and this is in colour Nude Vanilla number 12 Nude Vanilla oh I love this lipstick this is my favourite new nude um, it is a perfect nude let me swatch it and I like wearing it with the Picaboo Neutral so if I put that next to it, obviously it does not look like this on the lips, you will see in a minute, um, but this is just a perfect, perfect neutral. It's not too pink, it's not too peachy, it's just gorgeous. 
I cannot tell you how much I love this lipstick and I've, I've written some things while I was wearing uh, the lipsticks to let you know how they feel. Um, so like I said, this one is perfectly nude, not too pink, not too peach, just gorgeous. Um, it is very creamy, very smooth. It's got amazing coverage. Um, it is, I would say, matte finish, but but not matte matte. It feels afterwards, because if I'm talking about matte, I can imagine very dry and, you know, not very nice feeling lipstick. This feels nice. This feels very creamy still, but you would have, I would say matte to satin finish. Um, and I think because of the, of the colour, it can sometimes set in lines, but not too much. I've had worse. I love it. This is like my favourite nude colour now. And here's me wearing the Tom Ford lipstick. <laughs> Second one was Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown, the packaging is a bit boring, I think. You know, cheap, cheap, I would say, and the lipsticks are not cheap. And this one um, is creamy lip color in washed seashell, number fifty-two, and it's just a bullet lipstick like this. Um, and this again, it's a rosy pink, I would say. That's what I'm wearing now, actually. Um, let me swatch that for you. You will think they are very similar, but... Um, so, that's the Bobbi Brown. Okay. This lipstick... It's, it's very, very thick and creamy. It almost goes on like some of those lip balms in a stick. It, it does feel very, very thick, but it melts into your lips. And I don't know if you can see, you can see here how it shines. It ends up looking like as if you have um, lip gloss on the top of it. I was um, I had it this morning actually, and I was driving my son to school, and I looked in a mirror, and it sparkled. And, not sparkled. It doesn't have sparkles, but um, it was so glossy that it looked looked like I put lip gloss on it, and I didn't. So this one is very very lovely, glossy looking, everyday lipstick, very com comfort comfortable. It can feel a bit thick, but it's not, it's it's fine. It's a really nice lipstick. So if you want something very glossy, so here's the picture. Okay, the next one is Dior, Rouge Dior Nude in Swan. And that one, um, I think Lisa Lisa Diwan um, often talks about. So I thought, oh, I, I tried this one. And I've never actually tried those Dior lipsticks. I always have, um, what's the other one? Addict, I think. So anyway, this one is in number 263 Swan. And again, this is lovely nude pink. They all look very similar, but they do look different on, on lips and all have a bit different finishes. So there is Swan. I would say Swan, because you can see it's similar to Bobbi Brown, but Bobbi Brown is more rosy pink. Swan, I would say, is a bit more... Um, not purpley, but you know what I mean. Um, can you see the difference? 
Um, okay, so this lipstick is very, very light. This one was the lightest of them all in application. So it does feel a bit like lip butter, I suppose. Um, creamy and quite, quite slippery. But gorgeous color. Again, really, really comfortable to wear. I can't see this one lasting so long. You probably have to reapply it. Um, I, I don't want to tell you how long the lipsticks last because that's a bit pointless, you know. It depends what you do. It depends, you know, some people say, oh, I can never keep my lipstick for longer than a half an hour. I keep my lipstick somehow all day. Even if I eat, I still have some lipstick left, um, you know, on the edges of my lips. So it's pointless me telling you how long they will last. Does it really matter? Just keep it with you and keep re reapplying it. <laughs> okay, so that was Dior. like that one as well. In fact, I love them all, apart from two that are not new. But someone asked me to review those, and I will talk about them in a minute. Anyway, this is me wearing the Dior swatch. Next one is Laura Mercier. Again, I think Laura Mercier and Tom Ford and even Dior have the packaging sorted. Um, very, very pretty, um, very solid. And this one is Creme Smooth Lip Color in Girlie. Gorgeous. It's a beautiful coral, but quite muted coral, not, um, I would call it neutral coral. It's not in your face. Um, it's not very bright, but it, and it does something to your face. It really brightens up your face. So let me swatch that. There it is. So as you can see, it's much more coral than the others. Um, Laura Mercier feels quite thicker when you put it on, a bit like the Bobbi Brown. But it's very creamy, satin finish. Um, and I think because it's so thick, like the Tom Ford and his matte to satin finish, they can set in lines a bit, but but not too much, not like some lipstick lipstick lipsticks do. Um, but yeah, beautiful color, and you will see in a minute um, on my lips. I really really enjoy wearing this one. So here it is. <laughs> I got NARS and NARS looks very small I don't know it's probably just the packaging I'm sure the amount of lipstick is exactly the same the packaging it's the you know usual NARS packaging um, everything is in the same packaging and this one is called Niagara and that's much brighter coral so like an orangey coral so if you are a bit scared of wearing red really dark red or really dark orange um then this is color for you and um doesn't look that dark in here but it does come comes off come off it's almost like an orangey red but not too dark if you know what I mean there it is beautiful color so I would say that this is like darker version of um, what was it Laura Mercier and this is the picture of me wearing it So 
these were five lipsticks that I just bought. I have two more from YSL that I bought before and I've talked a while ago about them but because one of my subscribers asked me about them I will um, tell you about those. Okay so um, let's do this one now and this is YSL Rouge Volupte and I bought it a while ago and I don't have the packaging because you never get the names of it on here it is number 19 that's all I can tell you it's number 19 but I don't know what color it is it annoys me when when they do that you know I throw the packaging away so I don't know okay of course YSL wins I think with packaging and this colour, when I saw it in the shop, I thought, I must have it. And then I swatched it, and it is like butter, and it's one of those perfectly pinks. Um, gorgeous. So, of course, when I saw that, I bought it. Um, I still love the colour of it, um, but I think it is so, so slippery. It's like slapping lard on your face or butter. I mean, loads of butter. Um, it is very thick, um, like an oil slick. You know, when you put it on your lips, you feel like it's going to go all over. Uh, so I don't really like the formula at all. I try to wear it because obviously... It was expensive and I want to use it up. I find that it works better if I put it on the top of another lipstick or if I put gloss on the top of it because you can really set in lines and curdles. Curdles like mad, you know, when you get these horrible bits on your lips. So I will never buy another one of those which is a shame because the packaging is gorgeous and, and it looks so lovely and the colour is good but I'm not a fan of those at all. And then another one from YSL is that one. Fortunately you see all the finger marks. And this one is Rouge Pour Couture, and this one is in number 38. Again, totally different formula, beautiful lipstick. Uh, this one has um, this one is more um, what is the word? Yeah, this one is more shimmery. Whereas this one is solid, just a creamy colour. It has almost like different colours going through it. But I don't know if you can see, it doesn't go on very evenly. Again, it's very, very creamy. But that one just sticks in lines like there is no tomorrow. Absolutely awful. On a hand, looks gorgeous. That's why when I swatched it, I bought it immediately. I cannot wear this lipstick on its own. It is beautiful, the colour is beautiful, but it's impossible unless, I suppose you're a baby with beautiful lips without any lines. It just set in lines like white pinky bits. So I still wear that one and I find that if I put on the top of another lipstick that I like, that has a nice texture, it works or if I put some gloss on the top of it. So, it's a shame, but YSL are my least favourite high-end lipsticks. Um, so, that's it for my lipsticks and my lip products. Um, my lips are a bit dry and I have to exfoliate them. And I use the bubblegum um, 
scrub from Lush, which I absolutely love. The best thing about it is that once you've scrubbed your lips, you don't have to wash off the excess, you just eat it till you lick it off. So, um, yeah, I have to do that quite often. I always put a lip butter, um, Nivea lip butter um, at night on my lips. Um, with these formulas, you have to make sure that your lips are in quite good condition. Otherwise, you know, especially with the matte to satin lipsticks, it will sit on your dry skin if you have it on your lips. Um, so that's it really for my um, lipstick haul, high-end lipstick haul. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. Um, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.